Hello everybody, this is the Structures Guy. Today we're discussing the engineering of the Maestronent building along with the challenges building with Tempark presents. Globally, the building sector accounts for about 40% of all carbon emissions. While some technologies and retrofits can reduce CO2 emissions, the material used in construction also play an important role. Since timber production consumes much less energy to process than steel or concrete, using timber could be the key to create sustainable cities in the future. Buildings having mostly or completely wood framing are sometimes called ply scrapers. The Maestronen building, located in Norway, stands at 280 feet or 85.4 meters and comprises of 18 stories making it the tallest pure mass timber structure in the world. It was constructed using locally sourced wood from companies using sustainable forestry practices. The two most common timber beams used for structural framings are called glulam and cross laminated timber or CLT. CLT is when layers of timber are glued together with the grain alternating at 90 degree angles for each layer, while glue laminated timber or glue lam is when the layers are glued together by layering them with the grain. To construct this structure, engineers used glue lam and cross laminated timber or CLT beams, both of which offer comparable design to concrete and steel and require less net energy to produce. Also, CLT and Glulam are strong enough to support large roads. Obviously, to draw attention to the benefits of timber, the Maestronent building was designed to be tall. When you build high, people will take notice and engineers and architects around the world become interested in learning about the design of such buildings. Thus, it inspires others to build similar buildings. Wood buildings present certain challenges such as fire safety and a relatively easier shift or deflection due to lateral load since it's lightweight compared to steel or concrete structures. The main load bearing or load transfer system consists of large scale glue lamp trusses along the facade as well as internal large glue lamp columns and beams. The trusses handle the global forces in horizontal and vertical direction and give the building its necessary stiffness against the deflection caused by gravity and lateral loads. Cross laminated timber or CLT walls are designed for secondary load bearing of three elevators and two staircases, but those walls do not contribute to the building horizontal stability. The building has a footprint of about 17 by 37 meters squared or 56 by 121 feet squared. There is a concrete slab on the ground floor that is supported by piles which are driven to the bedrock below up to 50 meters or 165 feet deep. Those piles can take both compression and tension forces. Stories 2 to 11 contain prefabricated wood decks and stories 12 to 18 have 30 centimeters or 12 inches concrete floors. The concrete floors are a composite consisting of prefabricated bottom portion that act as formwork for a cast in place concrete upper portion. Using concrete instead of wood in the upper floors means that the building will be heavier towards the top. The extra mass is necessary to comply with the comfort criteria for apartments, reducing lateral movement. The concrete decks also make it easier to achieve a high standard for acoustic performance in the apartments. All glue ram elements are connected using slotted in steel plates and dowels. These are high capacity connections which are frequently used in bridges and large buildings. The structural timber is on the inside of the facade and glass elements, which protects the timber from rain and sun, which increase durability. The building is also designed to withstand a complete burnout. Tests show it will not collapse. 
The final strategy report for this project states that the main load bearing system must be designed to withstand 120 minutes of fire. The second load bearing system must, must stand 90 minutes of fire. Also, as the fire consultant for the building said, the fire strategy measures that have been implemented in the Maestrone building make the timber building so far safer than a corresponding building with a traditional steel or concrete structure. The fire consultant added, the grill ram structures retain the load bearing ability in a complete burnout fire. He added, our fire tests show that the grill ram acquire a protective layer of coal that denies the fire the ability to keep going and it dies out. Even after long exposure to fire, a grill ram structure with such sturdy dimensions as used in this building will have a sufficiently great load bearing core of fresh wood. The structures are also positioned at sufficient distance from each other so that the fire cannot keep going by itself when only structures are on fire. This prevents the building from collapsing even in the event of a burnout fire in the fittings and the furniture. There are still some challenges facing the growing enthusiasm for price scrapers that need to be addressed before it can be more frequently used in more projects globally. This building is a good first step towards a more sustainable design to reduce carbon emissions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. See you next time!